Hello, Hello class. class. Today we're our project is gonna be the football helmet. Today we're gonna be diving into the history of the football helmet. <laughs> Hey, hey, Andre, 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 wear this for the video. It's for the video. Why? It's for the video. Just do it. Fine. <laughs> you look so good in that. All right, come in here. Open up. All right, we're going to set it down. Hey, let me close the door. All right. Yeah, we're using What's this, this for we're using this again? for the microphone. Oh, it's it's for our uh, automation robotics class. Remember the class that you took? Oh yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, so you're gonna say what you said, what I told you, okay? Okay. Hello, class. T uh, today we're gonna be talking about the football helmet. Now let's dive into the history of the football helmet. <laughs> wow! Look at wow. that. It really does work. Good thing I wore that. Whew. Could have been bad. The first use of football headgear dates back all the way to 1869 when George Rose Barclay was playing in a college uh, football game. He was a halfback, and he started to use straps and earpieces to protect his ears. There's no documentation on who actually invented the football helmet. However, some sources credit James Naismith, who used protective earpieces and stuff to cover up his ears that he hurt playing in a YMCA football game. Other people credit the U.S. Naval Academy midshipman Joseph M. Reeves, who had a protective headpiece made out of moleskin in the 1893 Ar Army-Navy game. Welcome back, class. As you can see, we are currently on the roof. Now, this is a very dangerous task. So you guys in the classroom, I do not want you trying this. Okay, we are gonna be testing the durability of this football helmet. So I am gonna be tossing it off this roof. I'm just gonna be tossing it like that. So yeah, here we go. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Time to sail, boys. Andre, Andre, oh. He needs some milk. Andre, Andre, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, how'd you get down here so fast? Uh, we don't talk about that. This helmet actually worked with. Wait, how do I get a new helmet? Oh, well. Okay. That was a very dangerous thing. I don't know if we're actually going to have this in the actual clip, but. That was a big spider. Oh, okay. Okay, we're, okay back. we're back. Okay, now let's get back to the facts of the football helmet. In the mid 1940s, leather helmets were required by the NFL. It wasn't until 1949 that the NFL adopted the plastic helmet and ended the leather helmet era. By the mid 50s, single face bars were added to the helmets, like the face bar we have on our helmets today. Uh, and the first appearance of the radio helmet was introduced. Throughout the 60s and 70s, where Riddell continued to innovate and improve on their football helmet. Protection design. Oh my god. Dude. Okay. I, I saw helmet. Throughout the 60s and 70s, where Riddell continued to innovate and improve on the, and focus on their football helmet with protection and design. By the 1980s, Riddell had become an icon with the classic football helmet. With a cylinder ear hole, clean face mask lines, and a... Today, NFL athletes are able to choose their helmets um, based on nostalgia, athletics, or just overall protection. Um, although the helmet does have to be approved by the NFL. It also left a big impact on the game. Protection, all that stuff. And it's just all around helped the NFL become what it is today. And yeah. Oh, wait. What's this? Hmm. 
Hey, uh, Kate, have you heard of a flashbang? Uh, no. What is that? 